welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome so in today's video we're going on a nature walk and we're just going to explore my backyard and we're just going to show you guys the plants that we have animals fruits and vegetables eggs and all of that it's because a lot of you have been asking for that video so if you're interested make sure you guys stay tuned and let's begin okay so we found a duck egg because we have ducks here so they laid a lot of eggs and he found one of the eggs just randomly stored somewhere. So this is how duck eggs look. Okay, so I'm gonna have Nana Adventures on this walk with me. So you guys can watch her vision of this property tour or like the backyard of the property on her channel. You guys want her version. I wear my water boots, of course, because they're dirty. And then I'm wearing shorts here. And it's a regular top, nothing too fast. And then a long sweater, just bring it in case you get cold. Or you can bring like a rain jacket as like a two-in-one. So in case it gets cold and then it's good rain. Yeah. Anyways, let's get started into this tour. Okay, so we have these plants here, but if any of anyone knows the correct name of these plants, you guys comment them down below and tell us what the usage of these plants are because we have a lot of these on the property. They're pretty. The color is very vibrant and pretty. Also, we have these ones here. Let me show you guys. These ones are really nice actually, but I don't know what they're what they're for. Um, we have so much of this too on the property, all over the property. At one point there was like all these white flowers on them, but they're gone now. And usually the white flowers only come on during September. And it's usually they come on when they're younger on those plants and then they disappear. So you guys can let us know down below what those plants are because they're nice. Okay, and then we have a lot of, um, they call them shoe blocks down here in Jamaica. We use those for like natural edging, natural fencing privacy so you guys can think about getting these on your property if you guys want um they're cute they're fine i can show you guys like the bigger ones that we have going alongside the driveway here and also we have a lot of the pine cone trees i forget what the correct term is but on our property here there's so much as you guys can see and then there's pine cones okay there's so much pine cones i'm gonna make nana show you guys and then obviously the pine cone leaves were the thorns and nana, nana goes into more depth if you guys want more depth about these pine cones these are the small ones because there's some huge humongous gigantic ones that fall off the tree and then the whole entire property is full of bamboo bamboo so all of this we're going to like renovate obviously we're going to keep the bamboo because bamboo is like the main feature and why would you cut all this like come on now <laughs> but we're going to renovate all this put like outdoor kitchen out here and like a place for when we have events and then put a trampoline and all that cool stuff I feel like my hair blew out, but guys, it's so windy and nice and cool down here. The property goes like this, like in a slant going down. So the house is at the top and then the rest of the property goes all the way down. Because so we live in the hills, right? On the hill. And on the property, we have a lot of fever grass. This is one of the bushes out of the many. Fever grass, you can use this, that you can use to make tea. It smells so good, it's my favorite. Oh, it's so good. Okay, over here we have a guava tree. guava tree and I can climb the guava tree let me show you guava tastes good and there's a, only one guava up there so I'm gonna get my stick I'm gonna get my stick and try to hit it down I couldn't find my stick so I got my uh, my shovel I got it I climbed more I got it I got it it's it's green but it's supposed to be yellow but I just want to eat a green it tastes good green and yellow then over there we have tangerines okay we're going to the tangerine tea or small local oranges and there's nothing really on here what happened to all the leaves maybe the goat ate it actually because the goat comes down here sometimes so this is this is how they look I don't see not one I don't think it's time yet there's a snail and then over there jackfruit tree we have a swing and stuff over there but as you can see we need to like get someone to clean up over there but the jackfruit trees are big i mean the jackfruits are big and then over there a little bush there's a small little banana tree growing guys look what plant i found it's shame old lady if you touch it so this plant you find it in jamaica it's called shame old lady when you touch it it closes it closes up. Like it, like it was like this, and then when you touch it, it closes. When shame old lady grows up, oh it God. turns into a maca, a maca tree. I'll show you that later. And look, when you touch it, it closes up like it's gonna go to sleep.
This is what the shame old lady grows up to be. That's why the shame old lady and then the shame old lady on the maca tree. And there's spiky things on it. If you touch it, it'll rip off your skin. So bad. You even go deep. And they are they're they're also called thorn. This looks like a scene out of a horror film. It's all maca bushes. We're gonna cut all this. As you guys can see, there's thorns. Thorns all over here. And this is what the shame old lady grows up to become. An even more dangerous plant. <laughs> so a huge forest of these. So let me know if you guys saw this pink plant here before. I don't know if it's just like Infected that's why it's pink, but it's really cool. It's pretty. I don't know if it's like infected or it's like dying or has some germs or disease on it That's why it's pink because we know they're usually green. Yeah, but it's so cool. It's like a whole force to them Ooh, Anyway, so we're walking stills How do you care for the maca bush comment down below if maca as has ever teared up your guys skin before because it teared up mine multiple times you guys know how it feels <laughs> so to walk down to like the bottom half of the hill is like less than five minutes way less like probably less than three minutes i would say five minutes the most if you're taking your sweet time but literally you can hide on this property here it's so big no one will ever find you down here you can build a little house here and no one will find you here because it's just so big and nice and so much privacy and it's relaxed but the only thing is most likely mongoose lives in the bamboo roots <laughs> Most likely, but that's okay. I heard of one of our one of our roosters here. I don't know where it is. I heard him. So over here, huge stream used to just flow by here like many moons ago. So I would say like probably in the 90s because before my mom bought this property, when we were like seven, eight, we came up here with her cousin because she wanted to show us the stream. And even back then, she was telling us that like the stream dried out. So it had to be like in the 90s that the stream was there, but you can still see the carving going all the way down. But there's still water running. So I'm gonna show you guys that down at the bottom, the stream is not as heavy as it used to be here, as you guys can see, but there's something down there and it's so nice. The only thing is that she just has to like, just clean out the leaves and cut the, the branches that fell in down there, yeah. Okay, so there's Nana Adventures. So as you can see, it's just all bamboo right here. It's so nice and quiet. I took some pictures here for Instagram before with the goats. Um, but yeah, it's huge. So the stream is like down there. We're gonna go to it. Guys, it's so nice here. Yeah. It's so cool. Oh, that was a cow. Okay, this is another part where the stream used to run. Okay, who's truck tires all the way down here like how did he even reach down here you guys can probably see some water over there okay so we made it to the bottom so now we're gonna show you guys the water here it is and I'm gonna step in it with her big clapas water boots that's no. not even hers my mom's and we're gonna do a test okay because the water's so clear guys look at it Wow. This is actually deep. Oh, you guys can see where it's covering on her boot. Okay, so right now, let's actually test out the water to see how clear it is. We're obviously not going to drink it because we have to test it first, but we're going to test out how clear it is. Okay, look how clear the water is. Okay. None. Clean and clear. Oh my gosh. Hey, wait, wait. This is the water from a pond in our backyard. We have the water in the bottle because we are going to test it out if it tastes good or bad and it's very very clear it's very very clear so i think it's gonna taste just like water not like dirty water and we're gonna test it out to see if it's clean and healthy and we're gonna test it at, at a science lab and this is so cool so as you can see that was really cool the water is so clear like so clear in the bottle why wouldn't you that's actually such a blessing and it's so nice imagine having this at the back of where you live even though it's super small you never know when you're going to need it i'm telling you yeah so we did this experiment on nana adventures channel so again you guys can watch it on nana's venture i'm going to show you guys the second part of this like little stream here so this is the other part here okay so this is the second part here as you can see it just needs to be cleaned out because there's too much leaves in it. But it's so pretty. There's more. There's even like nicer ones down there. But that's not our property. I went down there to explore the whole place before. It was really nice. <laughs> so he gave us these. Thank you. These are nice. Thank you. 
peeling this because we're gonna eat one. Oh, people are wondering where I got this from. Um, the farmer that has his growing right beside the stream on a different property, he was there, so he gave us these. Okay, so that's it for today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment what your favorite part is or what more you guys would like to see from these nature videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Au revoir.